Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and we got the Miracle Chance Capsules, and we got the first time discount with 100% Uber Chance, so we're gonna hop right in, hoping for some sick Ubers. Now, I probably should have saved for little Valk, the dark little Valk, but this whole gacha pool has some Ubers that I want, so bam, there we go, we got one. The Freeze Boy himself, Dio version 2, and I don't know why everyone hates on my boy Balaluga. I mean, he can be trash sometimes, but he's not completely trash. <laughs> and look who decides to show up when I'm talking about trash units. What a surprise. And there we go, the ultimate anti-floating unit and the counter to Queen B. so... Man, I can cheese that stage now. I mean, I could have gotten better units if I did the little Dark Valk, but hey, we got Balaluga and the ultimate anti-floating unit. I mean, I'll take that, but I barely use Ubers anyway, so... I mean, I'm more hunting for those super rares, because they are extremely helpful. Because there's still a lot of super rares I am missing, so... I want to make sure I get a couple, but yeah, that was the miracle chance. You got Strike Ray and, of course, the boy Balaluga. OP. <laughs> Why not do a chill SOL video? And I probably have a couple of these recorded for while I'm gone, so expect to see lots of these SOL type videos. And tell me if you like them or not. Wow, well, and these stages are extreme throwback. And, oh no, is this the stage with that one Yandum and Bun Bun? No, this level is so annoying. And I'm pretty sure I made videos about these levels when they first came out. Yikes, that was a long time ago. And wow, luckily I was using my red lineup for Growing Red. Because I'm pretty sure there are also Rhinos in this level. So, it's by luck we have anti-red units. I mean... Depends on how buff the rhinos are, we could have done it without the anti-raid units. But this far in SOL, I'm pretty sure the rhinos are very boosted. Here we go, we got max money. It is time, and I think we're ready. I mean, I obviously I'm gonna lure Bun Bun to our side. Yikes, there is one horns. Oh my, how powerful is it gonna be? How powerful is that in the end I'm gonna be, actually? And this Bun Bun is one-shotting our walls and they're pretty high leveled so that's a yikes i mean at least we do have our anti-raid units luckily wait how the hell did that one horn get up here so quick what wow these levels are getting fairly difficult without into the future chapter three treasures oh no he's probably gonna have like two million health <laughs> Why always in the end of me so damn annoying and of the damn trolley bloggers too. SOL stages can get so damn annoying sometimes, especially when there's quarries or damn trolley bloggers. Wow, and everything is so boosted in this level. Finally that one horn goes down and the damn Neandum is just chilling there. Oh no, we knocked back Bun Bun. And this is a problem because Nai just chilling back there can take out everything and he just did. I mean all we could do is hope to build up another stack. But I'm guessing since this Bun Bun is so damn boosted, it is not close to dying. And our Bahama is so close to being fully charged up. And the Bun Bun is so close to the base, same with the Nandum. Oh no, a one horn is coming and look how close Bun Bun is to the base. And the Bahama is charged up but we don't have enough money. We're just gonna somehow have to take down the extremely boosted one horn. Yeah, I just checked the wiki and that one horn is boosted by 1600%. So it's gonna take a long while to take down this one horn and hopefully the Neandum doesn't hit our base or any of our stacked units. Wait, we took him down? But there's another one coming. But luckily we do have our Bahamut up and Bun Bun was so damn close to the base and Neandum just killed our whole stack. Oh no. If our Bahamut dies here, it's over. And here comes the damn boosted one horn again. Look at how close they are to the base. They are literally half a wall cat away from the base. And oh my Bahamut with the clutch. 
Yeah, Bun Bun could have probably one shot the base, and Neandam definitely would have one shot in the base, and he just yeeted everything right there. But luckily, we did bring Titan, or we had it in our growing red lineup. Wait, hold up, did Sushi just survive a Nandum hit? Nani? He did, what? This Nandum is at 300%, so it's gonna take a long, long while. He has close to a million HP. I mean, hopefully Titan and Sushi can carry through it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a good 5 minutes and he still hasn't moved from that damn spot. So, it's gonna be a while. If only I had awakened Bahamut. If only. And yes, I am cycling Bahamut for one horn. Because he has so much damn health, I cannot stand it. So, even with Bahamut, it's still gonna take a while taking down the one horns. Oh my, and there's another one. Please, Bahamut, just survive and take out the other one horn. Or else we're gonna have to spend another 5 minutes just taking down the one horn. Then attacking the Nyandum, which will take another 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go classic Google style here and just speed it up. So, yeah, I'll meet you at the end of this damn level. Oh wow, Crazy Titan just got a double shock wave. Oh, is that it? And there we go. Sushi with the final yeet on Yandam, and that is the level. Wow, that took a long time. That took 30 minutes. Yeah, I think that's good for this video. And it's probably going to be a short video since I will cut it up so much, but... You know it is what it is but yeah that's it guys for this video hope you did enjoy let me guys know if you want more sol videos like this in the future i have a lot of them lined up but if you guys really like this one i'll release the other ones too and if you were watching this i'm probably on my break so expect those while i'm on my break but yeah that's it guys it's been john boogoo and see ya Oh, and by the way, expect a live stream on the day this video goes up, so keep an eye out and have that bell activated and ready.